Hi guys and welcome back to an actor's notebook. Sorry that this vlog has taken so long for me to pull up um, or to upload <laughs> for you guys, um, but it's just been super busy. So as we talked about last time, I was working on a film where I was actually the lead of this film and it was my first time ever being like the lead role. Um, I was <laughs> on set um, like I, I was number one on the call sheet. <laughs> um, I, I was there a lot. Um, and I worked long hours and, um, it was just all, it, it was all interesting and fun. And I have to give props to my PAs and everything on set. They were just really good at taking care of me. Um, and of course I had to do what I had to do to take care of myself when I went home, but all in all, it was actually a really positive experience for me. So I'm going to share with you guys a little bit. I did do some like behind the scenes footage while I was on set and I did try and vlog throughout those days while I was filming, but because I was like there for like 12 hours and I would get off a really odd time. Sometimes I wouldn't get home till like 3 a.m. Like my footage is just really choppy i think and it didn't really make sense when i was looking back and watching it so i just decided to do a sit down with you guys and kind of talk to you guys about the experience as a whole i do have some footage that i'll probably in some pictures that i have gotten permission to upload <clears throat> from behind the scenes um and some video that i've gotten permission to upload so i'll probably sneak that in there somewhere but yeah um, it's in the editing process right now. It's gotten to the editing process fast and the reason was was because it was actually delayed. This project was delayed because of COVID. Um, spikes in COVID started happening in New York when we were starting to film and so they had to like pause the project and some of the producers got COVID and then actually um, when we were close to wrapping the project, we had to lose a lot of the crew because quite a few of the crew got tested positive for COVID. So it was just a crazy situation. Um, I always tested negative. We tested every day we went to set. Um, and nobody else really tested positive. The people that did test positive had to quarantine and everything like that. Um, and they couldn't come to set. So you had to test before set and then you had to test when you were at set. So they tested positive before we even, before they ever came to set. So we didn't have to stop or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it was, <laughs> it was a crazy time filming this during um, spikes and COVID happening again. And of course it's not as bad as it was when we were at the height of the pandemic. Um, but it is, it is still something of course that everyone has to be cautious of and the producers are very um, protective towards the actors as far as, you know, COVID protocol. And it's also just like following the protocol for union and everything like that. So yeah, we, 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 we were protected and I felt safe and I always tested negative. I never got COVID on set and nobody else got COVID on set. Um, and the people that did get COVID, like I said, they never actually came to set. They were just supposed to come tested positive and we lost like quite a few people for that. So, um, yeah, it's in editing right now. We have to get it to the producers actually really soon. So they're like working overtime and I have complete trust and faith in the process. So, um, that's great. I, I really think it's going to end up being an excellent film. So anyway, um, basically we filmed for about 12 hours a day. Um, and it was very, the directors and everything, they, they knew exactly what they wanted. I actually got an animation. Um, so basically what they did was they put an animation to the, to the film for, you know, how blocking and everything was going to go. Um, so they actually showed me the animation and shared that animation with me. So before I went to, uh, to set, I knew, of course, I had my call time, so I knew, and, I, and we had our call sheet, so we knew what scenes were happening when, and I could go back to the animation look so that I could be well prepared uh, for the blocking that was going to be happening that day. We also had a fight choreography um, and an intimacy coordinator on set. 
So all of that was great. Um, we had done a lot of the fight choreography, like I said, before we even started filming. So we were ready to go for that. Everything was, um, was taking a lot of care, especially because I had to carry a gun um, for most of my scenes um, and I and a lot of the action scenes. So just making sure that the safety precautions were all done for that was amazing. And then there was, we had an intimacy coordinator just because there was a scene where I um, had to take a leak <laughs> um, while holding a gun. Um, on set and so they just wanted to make sure that I was comfortable with like you know pulling up my dress and everything like that and ways to do that so that I didn't you know just they just wanted to make me as comfortable as possible personally I didn't think I really needed an intimacy coordinator for a scene where I'm just using the restroom um but it was just nice you know just that they took that much care and they also asked me if they were adding anything in where I might have to like change there was a scene where I was having to take off my clothes but they didn't show anything and they kept me completely covered so I got they they talked to me before all of those things happened even before they put them in the script if it was added to the script they asked me before they added to the script and I I loved that part. I loved that collaboration. The writer and the director and the producers were all amazing and just making me feel included and making me feel like I had a say over what was happening. And also, um, they were honest in wanting a woman's perspective because they didn't want to sexualize my character. My character was a very strong woman. She was a woman who could play multiple parts. She could be the victim. She could be the student. She could be uh, the uh, seducer. Like, she had there was parts in this film where she's all of those things. So just making sure that you don't take away her power by making her take off her clothes, you know what I mean? Because it wasn't for the male gaze, it was for her using it as a manipulative tactic to get what she wanted from her victims, you know? So it was just making sure that all of those things were together and I was a part of that entire process. Um, and making sure that, you know, from a woman's perspective and also from a character's perspective, because I am blue, I am this character. So I kind of can see where she's coming from a little bit differently. Not, of course, as much as the writers, but I also had my own perspectives, you know, on blue that I brought to this role specifically. And personally, I was okay with her playing the seducer and the taking off the clothes because it, it wasn't something that was done, like I said, for the male gaze. It was done to show another level of this of this woman who is just a beast in the mind to the point where I honestly think she's kind of like an unsung hero. Um, but I will let the audience <laughs> choose their own um, perceptions of this character. But anyway, so we were on set. Um, I met a lot of beautiful people. Our um, uh, our the the makeup costume. Um, I did my own hair, like I like I believe I said before. I prefer to do my own hair just because a lot of people don't understand how to do black hair or natural hair. Um, and I had the person who was over her hair was very okay with me doing my own hair um and she also was willing to learn which i really appreciated she wanted to know about my products that i put in my hair she wanted to know how long it would take and, and how the humidity because it actually ended up being like a hundred degrees one day and we were in like a basement and how that would affect my hair and if there was anything i needed to do to make sure that it looked the exact same as it did um another day when we shot something else which was you know because we shot out of sequence
guys, welcome back. So I had a very easy morning. Um, I had maybe about six or five and a half hours of sleep. I got up, um, I ran a bath, and I like prepped my hair for to make it easier for when I go there to like style my hair. Um, and then I soaked in the bath for about 10 minutes, ate my breakfast, had a little protein shake as well. Um, I like to use Ensure and just because they work best for me and they have good vitamins and it starts me off my day well. I had a turmeric shot um, <clears throat> and I watched a little bit of TV while I was soaking in the bath. So now I'm about to leave and go back on to set. So see you guys there.